Hello and good morning. Well, well, I said good morning. It's not even the morning. It's literally 1 p.m. I'm just so used to saying good morning at the start of the vlog. Starting this one uh, quite a bit later than usual though. It was just a busy morning. I had a couple meetings and then I had like some really time sensitive things that I was like, okay, I need to do this like yesterday. But the second half of today is gonna be a little more laid back and a lot of fun stuff planned. So I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So I, I, I don't, I don't actually know if I have fully talked about this yet on the internet, but um, you guys know I brought back my podcast, Sierra Unfiltered. Wasn't really quite sure the direction I wanted to take with it. And then I did a couple episodes with my friends, Ryan and Paloma, and it was just such an, an instant Fit. I was like, I love this. This works so well together. And they were super down to be a part of the podcast long term. So the podcast is now going to be the three of us. And we're currently working on doing like a full rebrand, new photos, new channel art, new set, and also a new name. It's going to be Sierra Unfiltered for probably like another maybe two months. There's a lot that we still have to figure out with everything, but we have our rebrand photo shoot scheduled. It's two weeks from now. So all this to say, Ryan, Paloma, and I, and also Kenzie, Kenzie's coming too, are gonna go thrifting today to try to find some props for the photo shoot. We're doing two different looks, and the one that we're shopping for today is a 70s theme. So we're looking for little props and knickknacks that fit that aesthetic. We bought a 70s style bar cart for one of the shots. And so I'm thinking we maybe wanna get a couple little things to like fill up the cart. And then while we're out, I think we're gonna try and take a couple Instagram photos. I have three outfits planned. One of the places that I think we're gonna try to take a photo at is it's, it's a bar, but it's actually built into a vintage carousel. I've seen it all over TikTok and it looks so cool. So we thought that would be a fun, a fun place to take a photo and also just a fun place to end the day. They're supposed to have like really really cool food and drinks. And Paloma's a big foodie and she makes a lot of TikToks about like trying different foods and restaurants. Paloma and Ryan were already coming down from LA anyways because tomorrow we're filming two podcast episodes. So we thought why not make the most of it while they're down here? We can get some props, we can get some photos and check out a really cool bar at the end of the day. So that is the plan. I'm thinking we, we probably won't be home until like 9.30 or 10 p.m. So before we go, I wanna go out in the living room and just spend some time with Grace, play with her for a little bit. She'll be asleep by the time that I get home. So after this, I'm not gonna see her until tomorrow morning. So I wanna get some time in with her and then I, I cannot forget to grab my pants from the dryer upstairs. I'm wearing this cute little scarf top and then I have these like flowy linen beach pants that I was gonna wear with it, but they were kind of wrinkled when I took them out of the drawer. So I figured I'd just throw them in the dryer, which I think was a good call if I can actually remember to grab the pants before we go. <laughs> so here is the look today. I love how like flowy and swishy these pants are. It's really hot today. So I wanted to wear something like really lightweight and breezy, but also like on a day that I'm actually going out of the house, doing fun things, taking pictures. I wanted to feel cute and I wanted to, to take the opportunity to wear things that I don't really get to wear all that much. I actually got this for a video. And in that video, I tried the scarf wrapping technique where you basically take the ends and crisscross it around a strapless bra to give more structure. Hold on a second, I need both hands to retie it. There we go. But yeah, I love like tying the scarf top like this. I get a little bit more structure from the bra, but the bra's not showing anywhere. And I think it j it looks really cute. It feels really secure. Big fan. And I like the way they look with my swishy pants. <laughs> Going with this Gucci bag too. And then I just need to decide on some shoes and we're out of here. By the way, shirt I think is from Boohoo. I'll try to find a link for the description. And the pants are from uh, Swimsuits for All. Hi, Hi, big girl. What you gonna do? Can you stand up? You need yeah. help? <laughs> Whoa! You got my scrunchie. Yeah. yeah. Is it tasty? Hey, Gracie. Hey, Gracie. Come on. I can't make it. It 
our photo shoot time already started. <laughs> It's a continuation. Continuation. So we went out to this observation deck on UCSC. They already changed into their second outfit. I have to change into mine. It was beautiful and horrifying because you're up so high. But literally the sec, I'm not usually afraid of heights. The second I walked out there, I was like, I am going to pass out. Mm -hmm. And it was a little creaky. I was like, oh, ooh, yeah. there's gaps. There's like gaps. Yes. 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 <laughs> and my shoes are like platforms right. where I'm wiggling. Yeah. It was a little scary, but the pictures are beautiful <laughs> so i think wait are we thrifting next and then the next photo or are we photo and then thrifting i honestly yeah. couldn't remember but i think it was thrifting and then next place right? cool works for me let's do it, it. Ooh, ryan with the vlog <laughs> <laughs> i love a vlogception moment <laughs> which by the way you can see today from ryan's point of view over on her channel yes vlogging queen getting back in the youtube game back in the game <laughs> back on the trial hey. but i'm going back in my style Baby, when you're attacked yes you've got to respond got to got to got to got to respond <laughs> then there's kenzie don't know that one it's legally blonde we yeah it's legally it's always it's legally always blonde. legally blonde <gasps> wait 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 the, the mtv sh show of the hunt yeah, for a what oh, oh my god kenzie. Kenzie. i'm so sorry kenzie so they they did a reality show trying to find new talent to play l woods in Legally Blonde the musical. Oh. So we can watch the reality show yes. and then watch the pro yes. shot of the actual musical. Yeah. It's so good, I miss that show. So we're actually gonna do uh, a little a little pit stop and for our second photo, before we hit up Goodwill, there's this vegan rooftop restaurant. It's called Trilogy Sanctuary here in San Diego. Actually, we're just walking in right now. Paloma getting that TikTok B-roll. <laughs> so we walk in through here. It literally looks like an office building, very unassuming. But third floor, Let's make this stop at floor two. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this. Stop. So LA. I did a, an aerial yoga class here once for a video. Really? Yeah, it was so difficult. The view's amazing. And it only gets better with the food. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the blissful smoothie. I've never had that one before, but I like all of those things. And the Vega nachos too for the table. Vega? 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 They're, they're vegan. <laughs> Y'all, these nachos. <laughs> also, I'm the only one who didn't get kombucha, and now I'm really regretting it because I feel left out. <laughs> she got kombucha FOMO. That looks so good. I'm obsessed. <laughs> oh my gosh. All huddling like, around wow. in the camera. Tell me that's not beautiful. <laughs> and my smoothie. Oh, Kenzie's staging it for the gram. <laughs> okay, the nachos. I've had these before. I already know they're amazing. Mm hmm. That crunch said it all. The crunch is all you need to know. Amazing. Confirmed. So good. It's like pineapple and mango. I, I'm channeling pee right now with the foodie in me is coming out. Delicious. And we weren't even planning on coming here. We were going to take the this second photo somewhere else. We ended up kind of in this area and we were like, we should just take it here and get some food. Amazing. Dang it, I kind of wish I brought a scrunchie. I feel like this outfit has, you know, like sporty vibes already. I have this little athletic dress, sneakers, crew socks. And I feel like the scrunchie would complete the look, but you know what? It's all good. Oh my God, <laughs> Kenzie. Kenzie took the one out of her hair so I could use it. You're a true friend. 12 seconds later. <laughs> no, I was trying to put Kenzie's hair tie in and gather my massive mane and it snapped and it's in my hair. Uh. I simply don't see it. You don't it. see it? <laughs> no. Oh, it's right there. Okay, wait, I'm gonna perform surgery. I'm in my lab coat. Yep. I am so sorry. I have one in the car. There we go. There we go. All right, amazing trip to Trilogy, and now we're actually just headed to Goodwill. It's literally right there. Yeah, good find. That feels 70s. Wait, this looks like something that would live on a bar cart. Oh, $7? Sold. And it's in the color palette, too. Yeah. Color palette is orange, pink, and red. So looking for things in that color scheme or, you know, like neutrals, clears, beiges. Okay, Ryan just pointed out this one. This is vase. The, like, bubbles feel pretty 70s to me. Yeah. That would be that cute. That would be cute. And we could put anything in that. Like, it doesn't even have to be, like, flowers. That's we so put true. Anything in it. Crocs in a glass case being given the, the respect they deserve. 
Okay, we got the, uh, who's who's carrying them? Brian's got one. <laughs> the big pink, uh, what'd you say it was called, Paloma? Decantor. Decantor, there is a fancy name for it. And Kenzie has the bubble vase. Does that have a name for it? Bubble base. Bubble base. <laughs> and both of those total $11. Wow. We love to see it. We love to see it. I think we're going to hit up one more thrift store and then what time is it? 6.07. Yeah. So we'll hit up one more thrift store and then our reservation at the Carousel Bar restaurant is at 8. So I think timing worked out pretty well. <laughs> Okay, we just got to Wolfie's, the carousel bar. Kenzie and Paloma getting some Instagram content. We just valeted, so we're gonna head inside. Oh, oh, we should do the fit checks before we get yes. in. We were gonna yeah, do a TikTok. So right here, out here. Yeah. yeah, I think so. The lighting's like pretty like red, but I, yeah, I think it's a vibe, it's a vibe. So we did go to the second thrift store. Well, actually I didn't. We went over to where it was and there was like a, a huge street fair going on with literally no parking after circling for like 20 minutes. So we decided, okay, I'm just gonna drop you guys off. I'll just keep circling. And they did find a couple cute little 70s-ish knickknacks. So I will show those to you guys when we get home. But right now it is carousel bar time. Also this place is in Little Italy. Hold on, look at that. which is right by the airport, as you can see. And there's planes coming and going like every two minutes or so, which at first kind of freaked us out and caught us off guard, but now now it's just cool. Dude, this is so cool. Look at, look at those. Oh my God. Yeah, this is great. Okay, we're sitting at the bar and the whole thing rotates very slowly, which is so cool, but a little disorienting. I think Kenzie's getting seasick. She needs the goggles. You need the goggles. <laughs> no, I was just thinking that, no joke. <laughs> Now that's a true friend. <laughs> Shining a little light here to show you guys too. We got the cauliflower gnocchi. It looks delicious and very fancy. Look at that. All righty, I am back home. Hello, Steven. Hey. <laughs> it's your debut on the vlog today. Uh, it's bedtime. <laughs> yeah, it's 10.30. <laughs> we were actually planning on watching Survivor when I got home, but I think we're gonna save it for tomorrow, which that's how you know I'm like really tired if I'm not watching Survivor on a Wednesday. But yeah, I had a really great day. It was so much fun. We were saying like doing content days like this together, just is it's just such a blast. Yeah, I don't even really know what you guys did, but. We took Instagram photos and we tried to go thrifting for props, but got a little held up because there was a street fair and we couldn't find parking at the second spot. We went to this like cool carousel bar that's yep, all over I TikTok. That. I saw it on Ryan's uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. And it was just a blast. And then uh, tomorrow we're doing uh, a little fitting for ourselves for our outfits for the rebrand photo shoot. We ordered a bunch of clothes online that we thought would be like a good fit for this shoot. And then we're also like pulling stuff from our own closets. So tomorrow me, Ryan and Paloma are gonna try everything on and like see not only what we like, but what looks good together as a group. Cause the shoot's next weekend, right? Shoot is, yeah, it's about a week and a half from now. And then we're filming two podcast episodes tomorrow and tomorrow? I'm- Tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> and then I have uh, mommy and me class with Grace in the morning, which I'm very excited about cause I miss her a lot. And part of me wants to go wake her up and cuddle her right now, but I know that's a really <laughs> bad decision. <laughs> now tell me about your day. It was good. Very long, very tired. So that's the day of Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Lots work, of work, uh, work. typey typey numbers numbers. Uh, more like meeting meeting talkie talkie, but you know, uh, same thing. You had meeting meeting talkie talkie, and I had picture picture talkie talkie. Mm -hmm. And now it's sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> sleepy, sleepy. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Good morning. Ryan and Paloma just got here. Good morning. Hello. We're about to do our fitting. We're looking at the clothes right now. No words. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's going to be like, you know, in the, the montages in the kids' movies, like <gasps> where they're in the mall and they're like trying on their stuff with their clothes. Like, yeah. their oh my that's gosh. That's how I feel like. Wait, right now. wait. That's how I'm going to edit it. Roll that. <laughs>
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that because we sure enjoyed filming it. <laughs> it feels like we're just playing dress up. This is so much fun. So we're looking for three outfits each, two that are more 70s themed, and then one that's in each of our own styles, but like within the orange, pink, and red color palette. So that was the one where for me, I'm either gonna do this like smocked orange dress or these orange overalls. And then we bought orange Birkenstocks to go with it since that's just very me. Ryan's was the red pantsuit and then we got matching red and white Air Jordans for her. Those haven't gotten delivered yet, but I feel like it's just gonna like really transform that outfit to the next level. And also like really be in Ryan's style, which is what we wanted to do with each of our outfits for the cover shot. And that's the one where Paloma was trying on all of like the little pink frilly dresses. That's like very her. They're getting changed right now. And I, we like took individual photos in each outfit as well as group shots with different combinations of the outfits to see what looked best. So I just airdropped all of those to my computer and we're gonna look at all of them side by side to decide what we actually wanna wear for the photo shoot. Okay, so I organized it like for each of us by like 70s and then regular and then the group shots. So for P70s, we have one, two, yeah, I love those ones. three. I think I love the second one. Me too. I think so too. And then, okay, Ryan. Yes. We have this one. Cute. This one. Oh yeah. I nice. love that. Too. And this one. And then we have the dress, but that's gonna be for the, for the yeah. tea pouring. So for the first 70s one. So just skirt versus pants, which one do you like better for yourself? Skirt. Okay, I agree. Yeah. And then it's the question of red or white. You just look so great in red. Yeah, yeah. tea. Do you like the red? Yeah, I okay. do. Yeah. So should we all be in dresses for the drink pouring one? Since that's like a little oh, bit maybe more. Oh, yeah, that, that's the vibe. Like yeah. we're right. out drinking okay. our Right, right. So then for the posing one, so think orange, like peachy backdrop with like huh. flower decals in the right. background. Mm -hmm. Which one do we like for me? One, two, or three? Two. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it'd be one, two, three, those yep. together. I like that. No, no. <laughs> no right. I can see it. I, I can see it, yeah. Oh, you guys. It's real. It's really It's happening. happening. It's happening. I'm getting a flutter in my tummy. I know. You rolling? Yeah. Jess told me to turn the vlog on. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I have a surprise for you. Okay. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Oh, look. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're <laughs> Right on it. We're like a real production crew over here. I guess I better do that quieter. Grace is sleeping. This is so cool. I, I used to have one of these back in the early days and then it broke and I never got a new one. And then I'm also gonna paint these to be the color <gasps> for the podcast. Oh my gosh. Isn't she the best? She's the best. <laughs> okay, I just got all of the final outfit photos in a document and I'm gonna share that with Tony, the photographer, who's also helping with a lot of like the creative direction for the shoot. And he was like dying to see the outfits that we picked because he kind of wants to use that to guide the set and the lighting and all of that. And now we have all of it figured out. So very exciting. Here is my uh, very official looking fitting document, but you know what? It, it gets the job done. All right, we are just about to film the second episode. Already did one and I think it went, it went great. It was perfect. Like yeah. it was a perfect episode. I feel like yeah. it was our best episode yet. Agree. Agree. Yeah, it yeah. was just like fun and easy and yeah. the flow, the flow. Yeah. This one is gonna be a little more rowdy. <laughs> we're doing uh, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And we're very nervous. And I'm not. <laughs> so we don't even need to ask the question. The, the title should be we are not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> Just here's why. Here's why. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Take one. All right, hello and welcome back to a very special episode of Sierra Unfiltered. Second podcast episode went awesome. I feel like today we we really like found our rhythm and hit our stride. It truly just felt like we were just having a fun conversation and I, I kept forgetting that we were even filming. It was so much fun. So really excited for you guys to see those. Um, make sure you're subscribed to the Sierra Unfiltered channel where all the podcast episodes are posted. And now I have some editing to do for the last vlog. So it's about four o'clock right now. So I'm gonna try to get done as much as I can now and then a uh, hard stop at five. That way we can have just a nice chill family evening with me, Steven and Grace. And uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.